Good morning at 825. It is 77 degrees under cloudy skies. I'm John Blunt with some Channel 10 News Brief. There's still reports of scattered power outages and a lot of trees down across the Delaware Valley after those heavy thunderstorms roared through the area last night. Take a look at the main line here in Villanova where a tree fell on top of a car trapping a man inside. Firemen had to saw the roof off to rescue the man. He's at the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania today in stable condition. Other areas were hit hard with downed trees and power line. The emergency crews worked throughout the night and are working right now trying to restore power. Well, despite yesterday's 100 degree temperature reading and a continued heat wave here in Philadelphia, don't look for city swimming pools to open anytime soon. There's just no money in the budget for the cleanup, the chemicals, and the pool staffing, so the 80 city swimming pools may stay closed until sometime in mid-July. Two youngsters were playing near the deep water of the Queen Lane Reservoir of the weekend and drowned. They were close friends, nine-year-old Khalif Hood and 10-year-old Weedy Yancey, both went under in 28 feet of water. Parents from Abbotsford Home say the reservoir is not secure, that youngsters frequently slip through gaps in the gate and the fence and use the site as a play area. Channel 10's Luann Khan walked around the reservoir site yesterday and found gaps. City crews will try and secure the area sometime today. Philadelphia police are expected to charge a 28-year-old woman today in the weekend shooting of four people in Kensington. A witness has said that it stemmed from a long-standing feud in the 2800 block of C Street. Two women argued, a crowd gathered, and police said that one woman pulled a 9mm handgun and shot four people, one critically. One injured man said that drugs played some part in this shooting. She just come out and started shooting. Why? Because they're loose. That's junkies for you. There's never been any arrest or investigation, to my knowledge, for drug use or drug sales. And they're saying they're not? They didn't do the shooting? Absolutely not. Now, Attorney Siegel says that his client will surrender to police sometime today. Despite some tenseness, the Kensington neighborhood remained quiet overnight. This is crunch time for Donald Trump in Atlantic City. The Casino Control Commission will hold hearings today on the financial stability of Trump's three casinos. His executives are now working on a debt restructuring plan for the Taj Mahal. And over the weekend, Trump avoided paying $41 million in interest payments on his Trump castle, but he reportedly had to give bondholders half interest in that property. In sports, the Phillies remain mired in the basement of the National League East with another loss yesterday to the Cincinnati Reds of Vet Stadium. The final in that game was 8-6. to six. Looking ahead to your weather on this back-to-work Monday, the forecast calls for partly sunny skies once this morning clouds start burning off. There's a 30% chance of afternoon thunderstorms. Today's high about 90. Tonight, partly cloudy, light winds, low 68. Tomorrow, variable cloudiness with a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. The high tomorrow around 87 degrees. Currently on City Line Avenue under cloudy skies, your temperature is 77 degrees. Extended forecast, very warm through the weekend. That's the news at 825. I'm John Blunt, back again today on the Channel 10 News at noon. I'll see you then.